Welcome guys. So here's our, this is our subject physics GRE video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel in order to uh, receive my uh, latest video on subject GRE and the math, math and physics. Okay, so we start from 91. Okay, basically, say basically 91 is the common sense. It said that experiment need to heat a small sample to 900K. Uh, but there's an O, so there's an oven which is 600k and they say, uh, can it, can I make this? Uh, use this 600k to get a 900k so the answer must, must be no, right? so the answer is D or E and so he said, D says violate conservation definitely this is not correct answer so the answer is E because it violates second law of thermodynamic uh, because the temperature always from the highest to lowest so there's no way that you can use the lowest temperature object to get a higher temperature. Okay, 62. So 62 is also a special question, which uh, I think is really interesting. Uh, basically, you have a V and uh, somebody asks you about the uh, ang angular frequency of small scale about the minimum of the potential. Okay, so... Uh, we first uh, do the derivative to find the minimum of the potential. So, so we have two choice. Okay, it's obviously that this is the minimum of the potential. Okay, so basically, uh, what we need is remember that at the uh, some critical and the uh, minimum of potential we can approximate force into minus kx0 and which k is just then once we find k we can just use omega equals to 2 pi uh, k over uh, not 2 pi k over m to compute the frequency so this minus k must be the the first Tyler expansion uh, this is x minus x naught so uh, minus k approximate is f prime of x naught so k is approximate minus a prime of x naught. Okay, so f is two a x minus four b x cube. So a prime basically is two a minus twelve b x cube. So we plug x into this one. Basically, this is s naught. So this is two a minus twelve b times two a four b. So we get the uh, minus 4a. So k is 4a. So omega is 4a over m. Okay. So the answer is d. Answer is d. Okay. So 23, uh, 93 said that the the particle mass moves in the potential in the period. Okay, suppose you have energy E, energy E. So from the right hand side, basically it's harmonic oscillator. So the temperature, uh, the, 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 the period is just 2 pi over uh, m over k, but we only have half. So we have this plus the, the right gravitational force. Okay, so for the gravitational force, basically your E is just equals to mgx, you can find the largest x, so x is just e over mg. So the time, the time which you, you can, uh, re you can start from here to x, basically is, you can view basically you have uh, like a wedge and uh, the height is mgx and uh, uh, maybe this is not, not a good example. Basically, uh, you can you can view you has a you your particle is just as a ball. And, uh, you have energy E, and the how long it will take into the the highest points. Okay, uh, with the gravitational acceleration g. So, basically, you have this equal to mg, just just this x. So the highest is just e over mg, and the time is just the time is just 
I'll have gt squared equals to e over mg. So time is just e over mg squared 2. So it's g times uh, 2e over m times square root of 1 over g. So answer is the answer is d. Answer is d. And then why there are two? Because you have you need to go up and go down. Okay, 94. 94 is the uh, a special question. Somebody asked you about uh, the statistical physics. Basically, uh, the total energy is just n times the average. And uh, this one is just the standard. Uh, you take the uh, Boltzmann distribution and uh, add the uh, partition function average. So n times basically you have two energy. One is zero, one is epsilon. So you have plus one. So what you have is n times uh, this is zero. This is energy zero. So basically you just epsilon times. 1 plus exponent epsilon beta and uh, n epsilon 1 plus exponent epsilon divided by kbt Whew. so the answer is d the answer is d over 95 uh, which are following curve which are following curve uh, in the curve of specific heat of the uh, metal such as lead tin and aluminum and temperature region and superconducting okay so basically all you need to know is superconducting has the discontinuity of specific heat so the answer there is which one is this discontinuity now oh, this one right this one so the answer is e the answer is e okay uh, i think it's enough for today and i will see you guys for finally five questions thanks